Sup guys, Gabe via Mazar, and in this social media video tutorial, I want to cover the two different ways that you could set up a Google authorship. For those of you who don't know what Google authorship is, when you do a Google search, I did here Twitter tips, some articles come up with a picture attached to the text. That is because they have set up a Google authorship linked to the content that they publish. You're more likely to click on these articles that have the image than these that don't. And also these people that set this up are gonna rank higher than those who haven't set up their Google authorship. Let me show you how this is done. First way to do it is, uh, which is the fastest and easiest, is going to the URL here on the top left. It's plus.google.com slash authorship. You have to verify that you have an email address on the same domain as where your content is. I'm currently a social media director at a company called insightsales.com. Every now and then I post content on a company blog and because I have an at insightsales.com email, all I have to do is come to this box right here, put in my work email, and now every time I post content on our company blog, my picture is gonna be next to the article on the Google search results. Okay, so after you're done that first step, go to your personal profile of your Google Plus. And for example, this one's mine. By default, it goes either to your home section or your post, but for this instance, we're gonna go to your about. Scroll down where it says on the link part and click on edit. There's gonna be a heading that says contributor to. Make sure that you add a custom link to the page. For example, here, I'll just click on edit so to show you. Uh, then you put here the title of where you're a contributor to, and then you put the URL of the blog, which right now it's insidesales.com slash insider for me. And then you click on save. Okay, so the first method that I just showed you how to enable your Google authorship works great if you're a contributor to, let's say, your company because you have uh, an email that is on the same domain as uh, where you're posting the content. But what if you don't have an email to other blogs that you've written content to as either as a, as a guest blog post or as a contributor? Uh, let's say you're a contributor to Mashable, TechCrunch, a fast company. But the second way, which I'm going to show you right now, it's going to be your best option to do so. Okay, so what you do is the following. Uh, go to plus.google.com slash authorship. And a number four, it even gives you the option. It says, don't have an email address on the same domain. Use this method to link your content to your Google Plus profile. So you click on this link. I'm just showing you this just so you know uh, for future reference, but I have a simplified version of this. That I'm going to show you in a sec. And then here in the content guideline sections, click on link your Google Plus profile using rel equals author. As you can see, it shows you a few instructions on what to do and what kind of HTML code to, to put. But I'm going to show you of what I've done specifically. Let me see if we can bring it in. Perfect. So Google Plus gives you a URL. And this is my personal URL. The way you get your personal one or you find out what it is you go to your Google Plus account, and it's, it's right here. Obviously, you might you want to delete anything up to that last number. So this right here, I would copy and paste it on my Word document. After that, you add the following: question mark R E L equals author. One more time, it's right after that last number with no spaces. You put question mark R E L or rel equals author. Okay, so this right here, I would copy and paste it and keep it somewhere where you can use it. Make sure that every time you do a blog guest post or if you're a contributor to another blog that you hyperlink this link as in like follow me on Google+. Plus. Uh, for example, Ken Krogh does a really good job at this. This is one of his articles. He's a Forbes.com contributor. I see that he has to do this because he doesn't have a at Forbes.com email. So at the at very end of each of his articles, he goes ahead and says, follow me on Google+. And this Google Plus link is the one that he created for his Google authorship. It's going to have, just like I mentioned, his own personal Google Plus profile URL. And at the end, it's gonna have attached the question mark, uh, REL equals author. Any person that does this, that is a contributor for a blog, it's gonna have to do this at the beginning of the article or at the end. I recommend it at the end, just like Ken Krogh did it here. Let's just do a Google search for this specific article. This one's called Cold Calling is Dead Thanks to LinkedIn. Let's just do Cold Calling is Dead Thanks to LinkedIn. His picture should come up next to the article. Yep, right here. 
cold calling is dead thanks to LinkedIn. As you can see, because of the Google authorship hyperlink that he included, his picture came up. If he didn't have that, this would come up in the search and res results page, but it would be without the picture. Let's go check then his uh, Google Plus profile to confirm that he has added Forbes.com as his contributor links because if you don't do that step, then it's not gonna work and it's really crucial. Let's go to his about section. Go in here, it says links. He's a contributor to Forbes. To wrap things up, if you can't prove to Google that you own the domain where you want to claim Google authorship or that you are associated to that domain, then you're gonna have to do it the hyperlink way that I just taught you. And uh, this link, your own personal unique link with the HTML at the end, it's gonna become really key and crucial for adding at the end of every single article you post out there. Also remember that if you post for multiple blogs and uh, websites, make sure you add them here to the contributor section. One last thing is please have a decent profile headshot because that's the one that's gonna be displayed on the Google search engine the results page. Uh, you don't wanna make a fool of yourself online, so just have it of your face and that's it nothing just too crazy okay that's it guys thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe a lot of these questions came from my clients i'm a social media consultant so i decided to why not put uh, videos and i'm gonna try to do one or two of these videos of how to various social media topics please subscribe share with your friends and see you guys next week